Hi everyone, Kevin here. Today I wanna show you one of the best ways to take a screenshot on a Windows 10 PC, and that's using a tool called Snip and Sketch. The reason I like Snip and Sketch so much is first off, it comes pre-installed with Windows 10. You don't have to go out and download another app to be able to take a screenshot. Second, not only can you take a screenshot of your entire desktop, you can also take a screenshot of a window or even just a freeform selection. Last, once you take your screenshot, you can make all types of annotations. You could write on it, you can circle items, you can even highlight items and then very easily share it with others. All right, well, enough talk. Why don't we jump on the PC and I'll show you all about this tool, Snip and Sketch. Here I am on my PC, and first off, I wanna show you how you can launch the Snip and Sketch app. If you're on Windows 10, you're already going to have this app installed. If you're on Windows 7 or on Windows 8, did you know you can upgrade to Windows 10 for free? I've included a link in the description. To launch Snip and Sketch, let's go down to the taskbar and within the search field, type in Snip and Sketch. Once you type in a few letters, you should see Snip and Sketch appear as one of the best matches. Let's click on that. Once the app launches right in the center of the app, you'll see an additional way that you can launch the app in the future, which is even quicker and easier. All you need to do is press the Windows logo key together with Shift and S, and that'll also launch Snip and Sketch. Another way you can also get back to it, once you have the app open, you'll see Snip and Sketch on your taskbar. You can right click on this and you can pin it to your taskbar. I've already pinned the app to my taskbar. Now that we have the Snip and Sketch app open, how do we start using it? Let's go up to the top left hand corner and click on this button that says new. Once I click on this, this opens up a few controls on the top of my screen. We have a few different options for taking a screen capture. The one on the far left is a rectangular snip, and just like the name implies, if I click on this, I can draw a rectangle around an object on my screen and take a screen capture of that. To the right of that, I can also take a freeform snip. Just like the name implies, I can click on that and then draw around an area of my screen that I wanna take a screen capture of. Next, I can also take a window capture or a window snip. When I click on this, I can select a window and that'll take a screen capture of that entire window. The last option I have here is a full screen snip and just like the name implies, this allows me to take a screenshot of my entire desktop. Now so far in Snip and Sketch, I've shown you how you could take a screenshot right now. Just like with a camera, you also have the option to set a delay timer on your screen captures. To set a delay timer right near the new button, there's a drop down menu. Click on this and you have the option to set a delay for three seconds or for 10 seconds. Now, why would you wanna use a delay? Well, maybe you need to prep things on your screen before you take your screenshot. For instance, let's say I wanted to highlight something on my desktop first. Let's try this out by going with snip in three seconds. Next, I'm gonna highlight on my desktop. And here after three seconds, you see that it freezes the screen. And just like before, I can take a snip using any one of these tools. Let's use the full screen desktop snip. Here now you see my screen capture with the area highlighted on my screen and it shows the entire desktop. One of the great things about the Snip and Sketch tool is that it has so much more than just screenshots. I can also annotate what my screenshot looks like. For instance, I have all these different tools here to mark it up. For instance, I have a pen tool. When I click on that, I could choose a color. Maybe I wanna go with white and then I could also choose the weight of my drawing. So let me just draw on here so there you can could see that I could annotate my screen capture. I also have a pencil tool and just like before I could choose a different color, I could also choose the size, I could also select the highlighter and just like with the other tools I could select a color and the size. Now over next to that I can also erase annotations if I didn't mean to annotate something on the screen. I also have access to a ruler. When I click on the ruler it'll bring it onto my screen and I could use my middle mouse wheel to adjust the degrees of the ruler. Here I'm going to place the ruler in the middle of my screen and now I'm I'm gonna use it to draw a line across my screen. I can move the ruler and I have a perfectly straight line. Along with the ruler tool, I can also further crop my image. So let's say I did a full screen capture. Here I could go back and I could crop it to just an area of my screen that I wanna keep 
Once I'm done, I could click on this check mark. Now that we've made some annotations on the screen, I want to show you what you can do over on the right hand side. Just like the icon implies, here I could zoom in or out. Alternatively, I could also use the control button on my keyboard and my mouse wheel to zoom in and out on my screen. I could save a screen capture. I can copy it. Let's say I want to paste it elsewhere. Here, for instance, I have PowerPoint open and I'm going to use Control V now to paste my screen capture. Back within the Snip and Sketch tool, I also have the option to share it using the Windows Share Control. Lastly, under the ellipses, I have a few additional options where let's say I could open a file, I could go back and I could make annotations to it. I could also print it. Let's say I want to save it as a PDF, I could print this way. And then there are also a few settings that I have access to. But overall, it's a fairly simple app that allows you to effectively take a screen capture on your desktop and then annotate it. All right, well that was a quick look at how you can use the Snip and Sketch app that comes pre-installed as part of Windows 10. And on that topic, I'm always blown away by how many great apps and functionality come with apps that come pre-installed on Windows 10. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see more videos like this in the future, hit that subscribe button. That way you'll get a notification anytime new content like this comes out. And lastly, if you wanna see me cover any other videos in the future, leave a comment down below and I'll add it to my list of videos to create. All right, well that's all I had for you today. I hope to see you next time, bye.